Hi there, welcome to this series of videos on programming logic. We would start with simple programs like even numbers, odd numbers, how to find if a number is prime, find factorial of a number and then move on to complex data structures and also algorithms. In this video, let's write a program to find out if a year is leap year or not. The logic to find a leap year is very simple. If let's say let's take a year 1904 this 1904 is a year which is divisible by 4 uh, so if I just take the simple logic then it's uh, leap year uh, for example if I take another year 1901 uh, it's not divisible by 4 it's not a leap year so the simple logic is uh, if it's divisible by 4, it's a leap year. If it's not divisible by 4, it's not a leap year. There's just one extra condition in addition to that. That is that uh, if a year is divisible by 100, then it's not a leap year, except if it's divisible by 400 also. So, for example, this is a leap year. For example, 2000 is a leap year. The way it works is uh, 1700, 1800 and 1900. These three years even though they are divisible by 4, they are not divisible by 400. So they are not a leap year. So if you look at 1700, 1800, 1900, all these years uh, even though they are divisible by 4, they are not divisible by 400 and they are divisible by 100. So they are not leap years. So if a year is divisible by 100, then it's leap year only if it's divisible by 400. So 1800, 1700 and 1900 are divisible by 100 but not divisible by 400. So they are not leap year. That's the primary condition and 2000 it's divisible by 100 and it is divisible by 400 so it's a leap year so the first condition to check is actually not uh, whether it's divisible by 4 or not but actually that if it's divisible by 100 if a number is divisible by 100 then it should be divisible by 400 as well so that's basically the first condition for uh, finding if it's a leap year or not if it's not divisible by 100 then if it's divisible by 4 then that's sufficient so let's write a simple program which does that so I'll clear this stuff off and let's get to writing our program so let's first uh, the function is leap year what we want to do is it should return 1 back if it's a leap year and return 0 back if it's not a leap year so uh, I'll start off so if a uh, year uh, is divisible by 400 if a year is divisible by 400 as we see early, earlier so if it's returning 0 then I would want to return a 1 back because it's a leap year so uh, 400, 1200, 1600, 2000 all these are leap years uh, next condition is if it's divisible by 400 if it's divisible by 100 then it's not a leap year return 0 the way this would work is actually uh, if it's if let's say I got the year input as 1600 then year mod four, 400 would be true and it would have returned the value 1 so uh, if I pass in a value 1600 it would never get to the second if condition so the second if condition would never get executed for a year which is divisible by 400 so uh, this comes here only for years which are not divisible by 400 so the code comes to second if only if the first if is not satisfied so if it's not divisible by 400 only then it would come here so if it's not divisible by 400 and it's divisible by 100 then the number is not a 
even number so sorry then it's not a leap year so I would return a zero back then I would check if the year is actually divisible by 4 so if the if it's actually coming to this if if it's coming to the third if then it means that the number is not divisible by 400 and 100 so the only condition that I would need to check is if the uh, year mod 4 is 0 if year mod 4 is 0 then it's a that's year is divisible by 4 then it's a prime uh, even number so now uh, if none of the other conditions are satisfied then I would return back a 0 so if you look at this uh, leap year function it first checks if it's divisible by 400 if it's divisible by 400 then it returns yes it's an even number then it checks if it's divisible by 100 if it's uh, if this condition is true if the second if is true then it means the first if is false and the second if is true that means it's a no, it's not a leap year so it returns a zero back and in all other conditions I have to just check if it's divisible by 4 if it's divisible by 4 then it's a leap year if it's not divisible by 4 then it's not a leap year so uh, let's just check if it compiles that's good it compiles and the first uh, input that I'm passing here is the year 2000 so year 2000 uh, year mod 400 is equal to is equal to 0 so this is true so it would just return 1 back and come back to the whole thing so if I just go down and look at the output you can see the output showing 2000 and one showing that it's a leap year so let's continue and now it, the value which is passed in is 1900 so 1900 mod 400 is e not equal to 0 because 1900 leaves a reminder 300 so the code goes to the next if so your mod 100 is equal to is equal to 0 yes it is because it's 1900 so it returns a value 0 back and the function returns back to the whole thing so if you look at the output the output would show 0 so 1900 uh, the output shows 0 because it's not a leap year so now let's go ahead uh, F7 the year passed in if you look at it is 1904 so it's not divisible by 400 it's not divisible by 100 so it comes to the next part which is to check if it's divisible by 4 and it's divisible by 4 so it returns 1 back and it goes out if you go out and look at the output it would show 1904 is 1 that's a leap year so if I now go with uh, 1901 it's not divisible by 400 it's not divisible by 100 it's not divisible by 4 so it returns a 0 back so that's not a leap year so that's a simple program to find if it's a leap year or not I could have further simplified uh, the function to actually directly instead of having a if here I can actually directly return uh, return year mod 4 is equal to is equal to 0 but that's for a beginning programmer difficult to understand so I left it as it is if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye